Hello, I've got another quick little tip regarding select Sony Bravia Android TVs. Namely TVs that have the X1 Ultimate chip or TVs released around 2019 onwards. Although some of this can be achieved on Sony TVs uh, from, from a few years back, but it may have been known as the Discover menu on the remote. And much of what I'm going to be covering now is applicable to these sets as well. But for the sake of my tutorial, uh, this is a 65 inch AF9 Master Series OLED TV from 2019, which does have the X1 Ultimate chip. And so therefore it has one of Sony's new menu systems or the new action menu, you might have seen it being called. If your TV was released around 2019 or 2020 onwards, chances are you'll have this menu. So this tutorial is mainly uh, for people who like having a menu that comes up at the bottom half of the screen as opposed to the full screen I'm showing you now on the TV. Obviously having a full screen menu is useful in the sense that you get to see a lot more of the, screen, uh, the apps and things at once, but sometimes it covers up too much of the screen. Maybe you're someone who's had a uh, Samsung TV or an LG TV or something that has a bottom menu and you want that bottom menu on your Android TV. Well, very simply put, all you have to do on one of the newer sets is hit the input selector button up in the top left hand corner of your remote, generally speaking, where you would change from different sources. This menu can be customized, and as of now, I haven't got much on there, just to show you what you can do. So if you scroll all the way to the right, you'll see this little edit link. Clicking on edit, will allow you to pick various different apps from within that you've got installed, such as uh, All4, iPlayer, maybe BBC News, and a few other things that you like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enable all the catch-up services, and Netflix, and maybe um, Spotify and YouTube. So as soon as you now hit the close menu, you can now see that your menus pop up here. So obviously this can be very useful. So imagine you are on some app now like Netflix and you need to quickly do something else. Well, simply put, you can hit the I button or the, uh, sorry, the input selector button and now you can do your other menus at the bottom there. So that's very simple. Another little thing I'd like to quickly cover as well is the new action menu. And the new action menu allows you to uh, change picture settings and things also from a bottom down menu. Um, some people will have a menu that pops up in the top left hand corner of the screen and unfortunately unless your TV receives the, the relevant software update you will not be getting the menu I'm showing you here. But for everyone else who does get this menu this can also be customized in a very similar way to what I just showed. Again so what you do is you just scroll all the way to the right to edit click on the things that you like and click off the things you don't like. So as you can see here, I've clicked on several different things, but I've also ticked off different things I don't need. Uh, so once you've done that, uh, you can also then rearrange this to a, a layout that works best for you. So for example, all you do, say if you wanted to move speaker settings to the front, well, you just long press the middle button on your remote, click move, drag it to a position you prefer, and uh, hit OK again. So this will help uh, help you with uh, quick access to things uh, and I hope this has proved useful. Just another quick little tip. Please like, subscribe, comment if you have anything you uh, want me to answer or maybe cover about Sony TVs. Chances I'll be able to answer you and uh, yeah, thank you.